What's up guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to film a video on this look for New Year's. I know I've been using a lot of glitter lately, but I mean, I'm getting kind of obsessed with it. And who doesn't like glitter, right? Like, look at how pretty it is. So the glitter I used in the video uh, is also Eye Candy Cosmetics, the ones I've been using in previous videos. And it's called Tiny Tart. This one attracts like the most light or like the most light bounces off of it so it looks really like intense. That's what I used on my eyes today and then you can see the highlight I used Anastasia's Moonchild Glow Kit and I used one of the new Makeup Geek lip creams, plush cream it's called, in the shade Troublemaker. So I wanted to kind of do something like monochromatic and purpley obviously for New Year's so since I did like silvery white in the Christmas tutorial I just posted I wanted to do something a little bit different and a little bit more out there so this is what I came up with and I really hope you guys enjoy it I also used one of the new Morphe palettes for this look and it's the I don't remember what it's called something mocha it's the more purple palette this is what I used and I also used um, one other shade from a different palette so yeah if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Bye! Alright, so I'm starting off by taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And then I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. And that's going to go all over my face as well. And then, I know this is excessive, I'm going to take the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. And that's going to go right around my nose into my pores and then today I'm mixing two foundations because I have a nice little blemish to cover up there and I'm using the Marc Jacobs uh, full cover remarkable foundation in the shade 14 and also the NARS sheer glow foundation in the shade Gobi I know that in the beginning of the video the blemish is not completely covered, but um, don't worry, by the end, you can't really tell it's there anymore. And then I'm going to take my favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light and Light Neutral. And I'm going to use that to highlight under my eyes, around my face, down my nose, you know the drill. Oh, then I decided I wanted to prime my eyes before I put concealer on them so that I don't have any creasing later on. So that was the Smashbox Photo Finish 24 Hour Eyeshadow Primer that I used. And then once I have everything blended, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna set all of that concealer on my face. And then I decided I wanted to use Hoola Bronzer today from Benefit. So I'm just using that to contour and bronze. Then I'm wiping away all that extra powder. And I did my eyebrows off camera. I'll have everything in the bottom bar of what I used. And now I'm taking one of the new Morphe palettes. This is called Bronzed Mocha. And I'm taking a light pinky shade and that's going in my crease with a Morphe E27 brush. And then I'm taking a little bit of a darker color on a Morphe R38 brush. And I'm running that in my outer crease and in my inner crease. Then on a Morphe M433, I'm taking that darker purple shade and repeating the same steps. So I'm darkening the outer corner. And now I'm taking this Tarte palette. It came out a while ago. It's called Be Magnificent. And I'm taking that purple shade and just repeating the same steps again, putting that on the outer and inner corner of the eye and leaving the lid empty. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller crease brush 
this is the Morphe M506 and I'm just using that to darken up above the lid in the crease a little bit. And then since I blended everything out, I'm just going back in with the Morphe M433 and making the purple stand out a little bit more. I'm taking a Morphe E36 and I'm taking that dark grayish black color and darkening the inner and outer corners. And then here comes the fun part. Oh, well, not yet, almost. We're taking the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and the shade Purple Horseshoe, and that's going on the lid right in the center. This step is optional. It doesn't really make a difference if you do it or not because you can't see it through the glitter anyways. I just thought maybe you might be able to, so I used it. But here I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in the shade Black, and I'm tightlining my upper lid. And then here we go. Eye Candy Cosmetics Glitter in the shade Tiny Tart and their Liquid Sugar. This is just a Urban Decay flat shader brush that I'm using and since I did my foundation beforehand, I'm using a tissue to prevent any fallout on my face. And now I'm adding more eyeliner to my waterline. And then I'm going in with that deep wine purple color that we used in the outer and inner corners on my lid. And we are gonna push that right up against the lash line. And then with the purple from the Tarte palette, I'm just blending that out a little bit. Now I'm taking the blush from the Bomb Cosmetics called Down Boy. And then I'm taking the Too Faced Cosmetics Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to contour my nose a little bit. Now I'm taking Purple Horseshoe from the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and I'm going to use that to highlight. Now I'm taking more glitter and I'm going to put that right in the center on the lower lash line and we're going to curl our lashes, apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara and then we're going to add some lashes. I'm going to be using the New Bouncem Bombay Lashes. These have quickly become my favorite lashes ever. They're so good. And now I'm taking Makeup Geek Cosmetics Plush Cream in the shade Troublemaker. As you can see, it's a really, uh, it's pretty bright purple. And I thought, why not for New Year's, right? When else are you gonna wear colors like this? So that completes the look today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please be safe on New Year's Eve. Do not drink and drive. I think AAA offers like free service if you can't drive. Also, you guys know there's Uber and Lyft and whatever other car services are out there. Taxis, cabs, stay safe, be smart, and um, have a good time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my future videos. And I think that's all I have for you guys. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Um, it, I, blah, 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 blah.